Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this one another problem from chapter 2, 7th edition by Miriam and Craig. So, in this problem it is said that the unstretched length of the spring is B, right? And it is said that determine the force which the spring exerts on point B of the space frame if B equals to 0.3, right? So, the unstretched length of the spring is B, right? So, we can write that B equals to 0.3 meters, right? And we have to determine the force uh, exerted by the spring at this point B. And further it is said that the magnitude of the spring force is the spring constant K multiplied by the deflection, lengthening or shortening of the spring, right? So, we know this, right? So, we can say that the spring force is equal to K and this is delta X. And what is delta x? Delta x is the change in length, right? So, we can say that the change in length of the spring, right? So, we can say that this is k and let us say that the final length is let us say uh, x and the original length is x naught, right? So, here in the problem it is said that the original length, the unstretched length of the spring is equal to b which is equal to 0 0.3, right? So, the change in length will be if if x is the final length and x naught is the original length, so then change in x will be equal to x minus x naught, right? So, we can say that this is x minus x naught and we know that x naught equals to 0 0.3, right? So, this is 0 0.3. So, this equation will give us the uh, magnitude of the spring force, right? If we know this x, that is the stretched length, right? And here, uh, in this diagram, we are given the value of this k as well, right? So, we can write that this is f, this is 400 into x minus 0 0.3, right? So, first we have to find this stretch length, right? So, how to find the stretch length? As we can see that uh, this spring is in the stretched condition, right? This uh, a b length, uh, if I draw a line, let us say if I draw a line from this uh, b to a, so, the length of uh, this line will be equal to x, right? So, we can say that uh, x is equal to a b length and we can find this a b length by using the Pythagoras theorem, right? So, as we can see that uh, if this is the origin, right? So, as we can see that this uh, spring is stretched uh, 1.5 b in along the x direction, right? and it is stretched uh, b along the y direction, right? And it is stretched uh, b along the z direction, right? So, we can find this a b length, right? So, we can say that this is uh, 1.5 b square, this is by using Pythagoras theorem, right? So, this is 1.5 b square, this is along x, this is along y, we can write that this is plus b square plus this is along z, right? So, this is plus b square and then we will take the square root, right? So, this is equal to, uh, we can say that this is 1.5 squared b square plus b square plus b square and then we will take the square root and from this we can take b square as common, right? So, this will be equal to b square 1.5 square plus 1 plus 1, right? And then, and we can write this b square outside of the square root, right? So, that will become only b to the power 1. So, we can write it as b, this is 1.5 square plus 2. So, now we are given that this b equals to 0 0.3 meters, right? So, I will write 0 0.3 multiply by square root that is 1.5 square plus 2. So, this is equal to 0 0.618, right? So, we can add this is uh, 0 0.618 meters, right? So, now we can find, we can use this equation, this is let us say this is equation 1. So, we can find the magnitude of their spring force, right? So, this magnitude of the spring force, uh, we can say that that F is equal to 400 and now this is that X, the stretch length, right? So, this is 0 0.618 minus 0 0.3. So, this is 
400 into 0 0.618 minus 0 0.3. So, this magnitude is uh, 127.2, this is 127.2 Newtons, right, since this 400 is in Newton per meter. So, we will get this force in Newtons. Now, to find the force vector from B to E, right. So, if we want to represent the spring force as a uh, Cartesian vector. So, what we can do? Uh, we can find that, right. So, we can say that that spring force vector will be equal to the magnitude of the spring force times the unit vector from B to A, right. So, this is that unit vector. So, we can say that uh, this will be our vector spring force vector from B to A like this. So, now to find this unit vector we know this magnitude right. So, we can write that this magnitude is 127.2 times the unit vector. So, to find the unit vector we have to determine the coordinates of this point B and the coordinates of this point A uh, from this origin right. So, now to find these coordinates we can we can see that uh, this point B uh, this point B is along the y axis is right. So, this means that to reach this point B there is no need to travel along x axis is right. So, the x coordinate of this point B is 0. Similarly, to reach this point B uh, we have to travel uh, 2 b distance along the z axis is that is 1 b and 2 b right. So, along the z axis we need to travel 2 b length right and then along the y axis we have to travel b length right. So, that is b meters and we can convert this right this is uh, b is 0 0.3 right. So, this is 0 0.3 and this is 2 times 0 0.3. So, this is 0 0.6. So, these are the coordinates of this point b in meters from that origin right. Similarly, we can write these coordinates of point A right. So, to reach this point A we have to travel B meters, B meters along the z axis right. So, I will write B meters along the z axis. Then uh, we have to travel uh, 1.5 B meters along the x axis right. So, I will write that this is 1.5 B and since as we can see that uh, this point A is along the x axis right this part of the frame is along the x axis. So, this means that there is no need to travel along y axis to reach this point A. So, this means that the y coordinate of this point A is 0 right. So, again we can find uh, 1, 1. 1.5 times 0.3 this is 0.45 right. So, this is 0 0.450 and 0 0.3 meters right. So, now we can find this unit vector. So, this force vector is equal to 127.2 and we will subtract the coordinates of point B from A right. So, now we can write that this is 1 uh, 0.45 minus 0 i right this vector has traveled uh, how much distance that is 0.45 meters along the positive x axis right. So, we have to subtract the coordinates of point B from A right since the vector is from B to A right. So, we have to subtract the coordinates of the point B that is the initial point right uh, from that final point right. So, this is 0.45 minus 0 um, times i and then we have to write plus and then 0 minus 0 0.3, 0 minus 0 0.3 j and then 0 0.3 minus 0 0.6 k right. So, this is plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.6 k and then we have to divide it by its magnitude right. So, first we have to simplify this. So, 0 0.45 minus 0 is 0 0.45. So, I will write that this is 0 0.45 and then this is 0 minus 0 0.3. So, this will become 0 point minus 0 0.3 j. This is 0 0.3 minus 0 0.6. So, this is minus 0 0.3 k. 
So, minus 0 0.3 k and then we will divide it by its magnitude right. So, this is the magnitude will be 0 0.45 square and this is plus 0 0.3 squared plus 0 0.3 squared right. So, this will give us that uh, unit vector from B to E. This is 127.2 and let me find this magnitude first right. So, this is 0 0.45 squared plus 0 0.3 squared plus 0 0.3 squared 0 0.618 right. So, this is that stretch length right. Now, this is 0 0.618 right. So, we can write that is 0 0.45 i minus 0 0.3 j minus 0 0.3 k divided by 0 0.618 magnitude right. And now, we can divide each of these components by this 0.618 magnitude right. So, we can write that this is 127.2 0 0.45 divided by 0 0.618 i 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.618 j minus 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.618 k right. And now, we need to multiply this magnitude with uh, all these uh, components of the unit vector right. Spring force uh, represented as a Cartesian vector right and this is the magnitude of that spring force. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Also like this particular video if you people want me to solve uh, more problems from this particular book.